Big Tractor Power is in a Western Kentucky winter wheat field, and in this video we're going to follow the process of producing small square bales with a bale accumulator. This is a tried and true Agco farm processing their straw into small square bales for the horse and industrial market. And we're going to follow the process seeing a Deutz Ellis L3 combine, an Agco RT120 tractor with a New Holland 570 small square baler processing the straw into small 14 by 18 square bales. And as those bales come out of the baler, they go onto a Coons 1036F bale accumulator, putting the bales into a larger block for easy pickup as the machines move their way across the field to collect the bales of straw. There is a skid steer loader on tracks used to pick up those square bales. It's a pretty neat process as the machine glides in and grabs 10 bales at a time and it will tie them up and move them over to an Alice Chalmers 7030 tractor pulling wagons and then those wagons haul 240 bales at a time and we're going to see a Clark Michigan wheel loader lift up 120 bales at a time and put them in the barn. So stay tuned and I hope that you'll enjoy this big tractor power video on baling straw. This Western Kentucky farm is a gleaner fan and they operate a total of four gleaners to harvest their crops. They use modern day Agco R75 combines to harvest their soybeans and corn. And then they also have a Deutz Alice R60 that helps harvest the wheat crop. But when it comes to baling straw, the farm utilizes a Deutz Alice L3 combine. This machine is rated at 145 horsepower. It holds 200 bushels of grain and it's cutting the wheat with a 20 foot wide Gleaner LM320 header. This machine is interesting because it is a Deutz Alice model, but it still has the orange decals. Most Deutz Alice machines have a green stripe on them. And this is a 1985 model that came out shortly after Deutz acquired Alice Chalmers. So this machine still has that orange Alice Chalmers decal, but it has Deutz Alice printed across the back. By 1986, the L3 combines remained silver, but had the traditional Deutz Alice green stripe. When the Deutz Ellis L3 Combine's 200 bushel grain tank is full of winter wheat, it's time to unload and the Combine swings out its pivot auger as it pulls up to the semi truck to unload the wheat crop. This wheat is yielding about 90 bushels per acre, which is typical for Western Kentucky, and it takes about one pass down and one pass back across the field to fill up this 200 bushel tank. Following right behind the combine, leaving the windrows of straw, is the farm's Agco RT120 tractor and the New Holland 570 square baler and the Kuhn bale accumulator. Let's take a look at how those machines operate in the field collecting the straw. The farm utilizes an Agco RT120 tractor. This is a mid-sized row crop machine to power its New Holland 570 small square baler producing 14 by 18 square bales. This tractor is rated at 120 PTO horsepower. It was manufactured at Agco's tractor factory in Beauvais, France from 2004 to 2005. Following behind the New Holland 570 square baler is a Coons 1036F bale accumulator. This is a pretty neat way to collect the 14 by 18 small square bales. This accumulator will collect 10 bales using a series of baffles and chutes to line the bales up and when they make a block of 10 then a gate opens up at the bottom and drops the bales out in the field where they'll be collected and put on wagons and hauled back to the barn.
following directly behind the tractor and square baler and the Coons manufacturing accumulator is a skid steer loader equipped with tracks and it is fitted with a bale grapple. This will go in and grab the block of 10 bales left by the accumulator. It wraps twine around the bales to hold them together and then it lifts them onto a wagon with pallets on it and it will stack 120 bales per wagon. We'll see an Alice Chalmer 7030 tractor pulling two wagons filled with 240 bales. Once the two wagons have been filled up with 120 bales apiece, it's time for the farm's Alice Chalmers 7030 tractor to haul them back to the barn for storage. The Alice Chalmers 7030 was produced from 1973 through 1974 in West Alice, Wisconsin, and it's rated at 130 PTO horsepower. This tractor has been on the farm since it was new. As the Alice Chalmers 7030 tractor and the wagons pull up to the barn, we'll see a pretty neat part of this baling process. The farm utilizes a 145 horsepower Clark Michigan 75B wheel loader equipped with pallet forks. You might have noticed out in the field that the bales were being placed on pallets laid across the top of the flat deck wagons. And this is where the wheel loader now comes in with its pallet fork and lifts up 120 bales right off the wagon. So in two scoops, we'll see the two wagons completely emptied and then it's time for the tractor to head right back to the field to collect some more square bales.
that you enjoyed hearing and seeing all the machinery involved in producing 25,000 small square bales of straw. If you would like to see more videos of farm equipment at work, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machinery in action. If you're already a subscriber, make sure to check the channel often, as Big Tractor Power uploads new videos every two to three days. If you'd like to get a sneak peek of what is currently being filmed for the channel, make sure to subscribe to Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently happening in the field. As always, thank you for watching.